guys how are ya it is Sonia and we're gonna head to Ambet's I'm excited we've not been here before weather today outside in Erie is 43 degrees and rain I got my paper and my bag I'm told that Ambet's um, they're new and they have limited carts right now so that's okay we're gonna work with it we're gonna work with it I'm assuming they I don't know man I've just been I've been raised in a Goodwill world where you bring your own bags and you bring your own paper. And somebody wrote yesterday on my vlog and we're like, what do you mean you have to, they have no bags. No, they, listen, listen, Linda. The deal is that they switch to no bags, um, like no bags. Man, do I, do I reuse my newspaper or what? Can you see me? So yeah, they switch to no bags. And of course they have the recyclable bags to save the planet. When I was out west, it was really interesting that uh, they did not, they had bags and were giving bags to people. In fact, they had a big bin. I thought it was the most brilliant thing for recycling bags. Talk about good for the planet and just making use of something that otherwise wouldn't have a continued use. They had a big box in the center. When you walked in, you would just go ahead and you just uh, drop in like your old, I don't know, anything, Dollar Tree bags, whatever brand it was, just to be reused. And then when you got up to check out, they gave you um, whatever bag they had to carry your reloved finds home in. And when I got back to the East Coast after this trip, I was talking to um, one of the local Goodwills and I was telling them that I had seen this. They don't have, they don't offer bags only the paid ones the goodwill bags and um i was told by the staff that no because i was like this is such a great idea like this is a great way to reuse and what's already out there into the world and giving them a purpose again somebody would be very grateful to have a bag and not have to buy a bag and um i was told that goodwill does not want to want us to accept any donations of bags we have to tell people that we do have reusable ones that they can buy for a couple dollars i have about 30 of them at this point and so carrying my newspaper in my own bags is the only way that I can ensure that my stuff gets, arrives alive back at the shop. Um, I, about two weeks ago, I bought some pottery and I was so sad because it literally slipped out of my, my purse, my hands, like I was carrying a bunch and um, I smashed it on the Goodwill parking lot and went back and cleaned it up. And it's because I forgot my Goodwill bag. I didn't want to buy another one. And so I made use with what I had in any way. It wasn't good enough, so. Yes, anyhow, I'm traumatized from Goodwill. Now we're gonna go to Ambet's, give them a shot and um, see how they are, but I'm hearing lots of good things. Oh, it is muddy. All right. We're locked, we're locked and loaded. So we're gonna go down here, but look at all these cars. Holy smokes. Well, I do spy a cart out here. Look at all those cars over there, holy smokes. I don't know if this is theirs or not, or who owns this cart. Okay, let's check it out down here first. I don't wanna steal another place's cart. Yeah, there's, everything is packed down here. If not, that's why I brought this guy. I'll just pick and fill this guy up. Okay, not seeing any carts. Glad I got the heads up about that. $3.98 for a set. I think that's very reasonable. $4.59. Love this green one. $4.59. Alright, so that's kind of what we're looking at. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. I want $24.98. Okay, so it looks like they have a whole bunch of stuff over here. Oh my gosh, and all that. All that, people. Oh, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm like a kid in a candy store. $22. Broken ear, 99 cents. Let's see here. Got some critters. Cute. Did not bring my black light with me today, but I'm going to tell you that I can already see things here that I know will glow. That'll be fun to come back and do. Oh, he's cute. A little trinket ring dish. 
79 cents. Does he need a little love? Does he need a little love? He's a little bit rough around the edges. Let's see what else is here. I saw these pieces of pottery down here. $5.98. That's a pretty one. I wonder why it has that hole, unless it's one of those knitting yarn ones. And this guy here is $3.98. I like that. That's beautiful. $19.96. Painted eight ninety eight. Some mask nine ninety eight. Nine ninety eight. Kitty cat three ninety eight. I like the kitty cat, I think. I'm not sure about his whiskers. Should I take the kitty cat? He's priced right. So it looks like they have their teacups priced individually, which I do like. 79 cents each. Oh my. Oh my. The candle maker in me is like, should I just grab all these right now? For 98 cents. Or 79 cents rather. I feel like I should. I feel like this is my deal today. This is my deal today. All right, give me a minute. I'm gonna unload all these guys into my bin. Into my bin. You will go. Hopefully nobody thinks I'm stealing, but it's really interesting that I see the Goodwill staff here that know me. They're all over here at Ambits. The only thing is I have to make sure, I have to check them to make sure that wear and tear is one thing like the aged look but I don't want cracks and uh, yeah I'll show you when I get back to the shop today stay tuned what I've been working on so out of all those this is the only one that I found that had a crack so we left him Some displays back here. That's pretty. I don't think I can fit any more dishes today. Those might be the dishes for me without breaking them. Lots of mugs. Okay, so that's gonna be all your plates in here and bowls and stuff. so fun to pick somewhere new in town. This is only like a 13, 14 minute drive from our store. Guys, I can't believe it. It goes on and on and on. Like I kid you not. Okay, this is all the glassware. Mugs. Mugs. So it looks like their mugs are 89 cents, 79 cents, competing with Dollar Tree, or sorry, Dollar, say it with me, Goodwill. Um, their start all, the basic white mug starts at $1.99. Canada. Canada. My home to the north. We don't have giraffes in Canada, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Okay, lots and lots of glassware, 99 cents. Boy, that's nice. What are these little guys up here? Those are cute. Look like little marbled pieces. You know, there's the whole other store too, like the other part of the store. If you're into shopping clothing, that sort of thing. We've got like the metal section, out of the metal art. Oh, that's a nice piece right there. 348, that's actually a good deal. For 398, I just started off with some really delicate things. I'll move up here a little bit. Oh, okay, so that's the wooden section over here. $1.49, boys, those are nice wood blanks for 
what I do with my painting. Oh, they're only a dollar forty-eight. They're perfect. Pretty cool. Okay. That's a nice candle holder. Let's see what the price of this guy is. Came from Tuesday morning, a place that's no longer open. Four ninety-eight. Doesn't want to go back in there. All right, this looks like yarn wool section. I'm so excited. Look, all the crafts. <gasps> the jar of buttons. No, jar of buttons. 1996. Tell me if you two are drawn to the jar of buttons. It's the Christmas season stuff. Santa bringing the, uh, bringing the cheer. Oh, they got a Halloween section. <gasps> that cat kind of matches the other cat. Look at his whiskers. Cool candles and stuff. It looks like back here, they say they have a furniture department. Um, they only just have a few pieces of furniture. I'm sure they're setting up all this stuff, but look, this is where the art's gonna go right here. Ooh, I like this section. I like this section. If you know me, you know that I love me a candle section. That's cute. All right, not gonna lie, it's hard in here with one hand holding my stuff and the other one holding my phone. So I, I got no extra hands, but it is fun to get an idea. 698, an idea of what is going on. It looks like an eye. 248, all right, so. Oh, I see that little owl one there, let me see. $1.48 Yankee candle holder. I like that, I'm gonna take that. A dollar ninety-eight. That's a good deal as well. Those. And then we have all the candles down here. All right, Jimmy Buffett's playing, so I'm gonna do a quick voice over here. But yeah, tons of stuff. So we will be exploring here on the regular. By the way, if anybody knows what that thing is, let me know. That's an interesting piece. Not sure what it's all. Maybe you just hold your um, threads. Who knows? But yeah, tons of people in here today as expected. I'm very happy for them. I'm glad that they had a successful launch. So that was a very fun adventure. Checking out, I saw a lot of the staff members that have been missing from Goodwill for a period of time and they told me that they were coming here. Okay, so thoughts. Um, there was some pieces that were priced high. You saw those two priced higher. Um, so first when I'm picking, I'm like, holy smokes, is everything like $29? I'm, I'm seeing these big, big jumps, but I have to remember that they have, I'm learning their areas. They have showcase areas where more of the nicer stuff are probably the stuff they keep up closer. I'm guessing to the registers, um, and they're filling up all their shelves. And so there's a lot to pick. And when you pick, you can find stuff for like those smaller dollar amounts that us thrifters absolutely love to find the gems right when you just spot the value at a great price um, and I'm also very aware that this is day three of them having their opening and there are a ton of people here there are a ton of people here I waited in line to check out when I went in all the uh, the buggies were completely in use there was no bins or anything no little um, they had these little red these red pull alongs they were all in use um, so I'm glad I had my bag by the end of it uh, they there was a bunch back in place. So I'm guessing I just went in at a super super busy time as well There's like busy and then there's like super busy So they've got it going on in there, but it's really nice. They have a very really really expansive Space in there today was really good just to go in and get my feet wet. Everybody was like, hey, good to see ya I'm like, yeah, I followed you here, right? I knew where you were going so anyway, just really, really nice. And I also, I love that they have bags. I love that they wrapped all my little teacups because at Goodwill, they just leave them on the counter and they walk away. And then you are expected to bring your own stuff to wrap them and to put everything together. May the forest be with you. Um, and of course, I also love the mission of AMVETS because they do support veterans. So top secret layer, if you are here this long in the video, leave a heart below you made it so we're hanging out here in my craft studio and this is what i've been working on i've been teaching myself how to make candles i attempted it last year didn't like where it went to uh just okay don't have time to learn it now i'm re-immersing myself back into it 
And so I'll show you kind of what I'm up to. These are the ones that I just got the other day at Goodwill, you might remember. So I am on the hunt for things that I can repurpose into candles. And here are some of my creations. Of course, we had to have some shabby florals and I kind of love that dessert style. I'm experimenting with fragrance. These, by the way, are all gummy bear smelling and I'll show you why. I did a whole batch of these, getting used to fragrance and just, you know, working with the wax, pouring, temperatures, all that good stuff. Okay, so you see these guys here. Gummy bear flavor, yes, yes. So if you see, so I've been hand pouring um, all the gummy bears and painting them and just kind of playing with them and yeah, creating these designs. So these are the beginnings of my candles, cannot wait. So I always look for things like, what can I do that I'm already doing that makes sense? I'm already thrifting. I'm already out there seeing stuff, hopefully for good prices, right? Um, that I can bring back. So. As I'm out thrifting, you're going to see me pick up some vessels, whether it's pottery, glass, uh, the teacups that I got today. Yep, I'm making, I am making candles out of them. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, I'm really happy with myself that I'm, I'm learning it this time. I bought some books, I've been watching videos, and I've been, yeah, I'm really captivated by making candles and having fun with it. So now when you see me picking, you'll know what I'm up to. But yeah, if I'm already out there thrifting and my time, I'm out there looking for stuff to resell, I can find stuff like this that you better believe I'm going to put something cute into. Um, so this is my kind of gummy bear and it smells like mango, pineapple, coconut, like it is a fruity gummy bear smell. So I'm going to do a whole collection of these and then I'll move on um, for plans for a different kind. But right now I'm just in the evenings, I'm working on these and trying to build up enough to create like a big launch with. I don't know about you, but I like to create launches and just have a bunch all at one time going out. So yeah, teacups, pottery, anything that I can thrift along the way. I'm going to be thinking about my candle collection and using my time out thrifting to also gather vessels um, for candle pouring. If you want to hang out with me candle making one day, you'll have to let me know in the comments. Do you make candles yourself or do you just, do you just kind of want to hang out um, and watch that process as well? Because if you are a thrifter, um, that's another way to use what you find. All right, friends, with that, I'm going to head back to the front of the shop here, help Matt, unpack my thrift finds, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.